Not how really, could you handle it? Not really. I didn't. I never got too high. I never got too low. I just stayed, stayed the course, and I just always believe in myself as you got to come in and work regardless of what college you go to. You might have to come in and work. So it's going to be tough. So I really want to make sure I'm going to make Did you enjoy seeing all the freshmen out there today? Like, yeah. Like, this just shows how special this group is. Like, how, how much potential we do have and it just shows how the future is. Sorry if you've been asked this, but what was it like to you know come down the hill and get your first snaps in front of a big crowd? There's been so much anticipation about seeing you play. This is, this is great. Like I said, it's so different from the recruiting process. You see how it is. You come to games, but it's so much different when you're actually in it. And it's, these fans are the best fans in the country. And it's just a great experience to be in out there. And doing it. What was it like to finally hit somebody else in a different colored uniform? Oh, great. We had a long, long summer, a long fall camp. It's been a struggle, but it was great to go out there and hit somebody with a different colored uniform. Which freshman are you closest with that you've played all the chance to try to create this? I would say I'm closest to Asia. I mean, we have a big group. Um, Man, really, we, all of us are close in the freshman class, but I say mainly KJ Heron because he's in my position and we see each other almost all the time in meetings and practice and games. We practice together. But other than that, um, and the older guys that help me the most is just the whole D line room. Specifically, Cleveland and Austin, the ones that's in my position, they help me a lot um, teach me plays and techniques and different things like that. With KJ, have you allowed us, yourself to think about what kind of the future could be like for you two guys coming off the edge? Well, we talk about it all the time. We know that we have to wait our time and pay our dues just like Cleveland. Austin awesome there when they came in with Shaq and Kevin Dowd were here. So we just know that um, we have a very bright future. Cleland said the other day that the guys like you and KJ were far more advanced than guys like him and Austin Bryant when they first got here as freshmen. What did most of your mind when you hear one of the stars of the team describe you in that way? It just shows, it just gives you a confidence boost because it shows how much potential you, you um, meet and KJ have come in because KJ, I mean, when Cleveland and Austin came in, they weren't as far, like you said, as far as events as we were. So it just helps a lot knowing that we have a very bright future. What did it feel like running down the hill? Well, it felt great. Like I said earlier, I mean, these fans are unreal. It's about 8,000 fans out here. And just to an opening game, it's just a very great experience running down the hill in front of all these people. I went south for about a little bit, a little bit, but it was it came pretty easy. Xavier, can you take me through that play where I think you chased the running back 30 yards downfield or so? What's going through your head? What kind of happened? Well, actually, I was coming from the backside, and I knew that you no, know, we really didn't want to give up a score. So I knew that I could, I know my speed, and I knew I could run it down. So I was just trying to make a play and stop the score. How much do you guys? You got so much depth up front, so many guys in play. Do you push each other and challenge each other? How much will that pay dividends late in the season? That kind of thing. We don't pay a lot of dividends. We push each other every single day. We don't. We don't. Nobody was listening to all the press clips and magazines about how great we could be. And we just push each other every day like we don't have anything. Have you thought about playing uh, Texas A&M yet and, and being in front of 110,000 fans in Texas? I haven't really thought about it. We basically just go one game at a time. But now that we are at that point, yes, I'll, I'll, of course I'll think about it. I've never been to College Station. I've just heard about it. It's a big, big stadium. They have a lot of fans there. So it'll be a great experience. So, we saw a lot of contributions, big plays from freshmen young guys on both sides of the ball. Is that sort of a glimpse of what's to come with this program? Yes, sir. That just shows how bright our future will and can and will be. We have a great group of freshmen. Even Coach Winnie said this might be one of his best, best freshman classes he's ever seen. So it'll be a great, it'll be a great one. What was it like having a group of older guys in front of you to help you with your first game? Was it a bit of an easier transition from practice to first game, having had guys like Christian and Clellan have experience that help kind of talk it through the game as it progresses? Yeah, they make, they make it a lot easier um, helping us and helping us um, get better and learning our plays and things like that. They just kind of bring us in and just help us a lot. You guys had seen Trevor on the practice field. You knew he could throw it, you know, but to see him in a game, you know, was it sort of nice to get there and see him in this type of situation, what he can do? Yeah, we're seeing some very special things with Trevor in practice, and we know what he could do. So just him being in the game, just was happy for him to show the fans what he could do. Everybody knew he could do. Yeah.